moving to the broad place. That is the place where God makes room for you. Now, I think so often is what we do, even in this tremendous outpouring, we almost think it's for somebody else, you know? And um, I want you to get hold of something tonight that God is making room for you. And in the making room for you, it's because you have contended for things. And that's what we're going to really look at. How do we contend for things? How do we step into the more? How do we step into that broad place? How do we step into the place where God makes room for us? And so let's just read through some of these passages here. And it says in 26.12, it says, Isaac planted crops in the land the same year he reaped a hundredfold. I mean, isn't that good? Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's good harvest. Yeah. You know, to plant and to receive a hundredfold, that is good harvest. Because the Lord blessed them. Let me tell you, every harvest that you get is because God blesses you. Amen. It is God that gives us the ability to get wealth. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Who wants to be wealthy? See, there's a lot of talk at the moment. There's a lot of talk at the moment of how people have wanted to become wealthy at the expense of the poor. Let me tell you this, that every million pound bonus that people get, somebody has to pay for it. Yeah. Do you understand that? Absolutely. And yet if we could see, and I do believe that the Archbishop of Canterbury this week was right on the page of God. Right on the page where he talked about those who in the city, he called them the bank rob, the modern day bank robbers and the city stealers. That's what he called them. You know, those who just go in for the fast buck. But you see, there is a wealth I believe that God wants to put upon us as believers and it's not a wealth whereby we amass, but it's a wealth whereby we become generous. Mm. Let me tell you, unless you are wealthy, you cannot move into the place of generosity. Right. Do you understand? Where you are helping others to move from that place into a better place. Where we move people from the place. You see, it's the gospel to the poor. That's what the Bible talks about. It's a gospel to the poor. And yet we have turned that around and said, well, it's to the poor in spirit. No, it finishes there. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See, what we do, go preach the good news to the poor. Do you know why we preach the good news to the poor? Because the poor receive it. Yeah. How hard is it for a rich man to enter yeah. the kingdom? But the poor receive it. Why? Because unless God breaks in, they know they've got nothing. And so here, this the whole thing, I believe that God is. See, he, he was able to get the hundredfold increase because God blessed him. See, that's why we, we put value on the offering and on giving here. Why? Because we want God to bless what you release to him. Ultimately, that's what you do. You release it to him. Yes, we may use that in order to bless other people in terms of the poor, the orphan, the widow, those who are destitute, those who have never heard the gospel. That's what we can use it for because that's the work of the kingdom. But you see, ultimately, you give it to him and he blesses that, just like it says here, and the man became rich. See, it's God who gives us the ability to get wealth. No one else. And he became rich, so God blessed him. He had a hundredfold increase. God blessed him. He became rich. And his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. See, the church has a problem with wealth. You know, it really does. It has a problem with wealth. And it doesn't speak about wealth because we, at times, are uncomfortable with it. Did you know that? Jesus is not uncomfortable with wealth. Because he who was rich became poor. 